Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. Remember to click that thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So I wanted to give you 10 very quick tips that you can do with your Google Sheet to make sure that it's working in the way that you want it to work and to make it more visually pleasing. So the first thing I'm going to do is filter and sort by color. So notice that I highlighted some of my rows. So if I came here, I could just click on the number to highlight the row and go ahead and give that a color. And then what I can do is click this little button to highlight my whole sheet. I'm going to come to data, create a filter. And once I create a filter, I could just click anywhere to unhighlight it. Notice all these little things come up. I can go to any one of them, it doesn't matter because I want to sort by color or filter by color. How awesome is that? So I can come here and say, I want to filter by yellow. So now it's only showing me the yellow. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say none. And now I'm going to sort. I'm going to go to a different one. Sort by color, fill color yellow. And now it's sorted it by the color. Yay! Next thing is under format. So I'm going to highlight my whole thing again. I'm going to come under format and I'm going to go to alternating colors. It's one of those things that you see people do and you kind of wonder how they did it. I can click alternating colors and then I can simply come here and choose the color. I'm going to choose this and then that's it. So and you can, you know, you get some other stuff down here that you can choose and play with. But that's Look how awesome that is. Look how cute. Yay. Next is under data. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make a drop down right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come here and choose one of these. I'm going to go to data and data validation. Now there's a bunch of things you can do with this. I'm just going to show you one. So I'm going to come here and say list of items and notice it says separated by a comma. So I'm going to say yes. No, and maybe if I can spell. And I'm going to click save. Now, of course, you see some other stuff here, but I'm just showing you very quickly some things you can do. So now I have a yes, a no, or maybe. And if I wanted to go ahead and put that um, for each of these, I can use my little ink blot is what I call it. And I can scroll down and now they're there. If I didn't want the yes there, of course, I could just make it blank. I just, you know, said undo and now I can come here go to that little ink blot and now I have a yes and no for each one what next I want to do a checkbox so I can come here I can go to insert checkbox and there you go that's how easy checkboxes are we used to have to use data validation for it but we don't anymore and if I want to of course go to my ink blot and now I have checkboxes for each one Next, data column stats. I really, really, really love this one. So I can come to data column stats. And what it does is it actually gives me the stats of the column. So notice it's giving me the stats of how many checked it and how many, which is true, and how many didn't check it, which is false. And you may think, well, okay, now I'll have to go click on the other columns. Nope, it's all right here. So I can actually go, look, items. So if I wanted to see quickly 15 binders, three deaths, isn't that awesome? So it gives you your column stats. Next, if you have something like this, one, two, three, four, but you actually wanted these words to be in each column, you know, you would start copying and pasting or looking for a formula. You actually don't have to do that. It's right under data. So I can click it, go to data. I can go to split text to columns. Now, when I click it, it's going to automatically do it for me because it detected automatically. But I could also come here and say, oh, we're going to separate it by commas or semicolons, whatever. But look how awesome that is. Yay. Next, I want to wrap the text. So it says, I love cake, but... Oh, I love cake, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to have to click on it to see the whole answer. So I'm going to wrap the text. You can do it for like a whole column, the whole sheet. Um, I'm just going to do it for this one cell. And I'm going to come right here to text wrapping. And I'm going to use the middle button to wrap the text. Yay! 
And the next thing I'm going to do is text rotation. So if I'm wanting to, for example, my column up here, let's say I wanted it to look a little bit jazzy, I can come here to text rotation and rotate the text in any way that I want to. Really cool, just to make it look a little bit different. And your last tip, which is number 10, is how to freeze your rows and columns. So when I scroll down, I no longer know what this data is because the words are up here, right? So what I can do is freeze it. So I can come here and click on it if I want to, and I'm going to go to view and freeze. So notice it says one row, two rows, or one column, two columns. I'm just gonna do one row. And what that does is, what? Now it freezes it so I know what all the data is. And it's so cool, because if you wanted to do, let's say I wanted to do up to 10, I could just come click 10, go to insert, I'm sorry, go to view, freeze, and I can say, yep, yeah, up to current row. And now it froze up to 10. There are other ways to do that, but I'm just showing you one. And you can do the same thing with the columns. So I can go to view, freeze, up to column E, and now when I go this way, it is frozen. And those are 10 very, very quick things that you can do to make your data a little bit more visual. Good luck.